Hi, I'm Hillary Johnson, and welcome to Flashback, where we take a look at local stories from years gone by. Today we go back to September 27, 2001, where a unique mode of transportation rolled through the Northwest. BC's Northwest is renowned for its vast scenery, and each year scores of tourists pass between the mountains and over the streams and rivers. But this is not the way most see the countryside. These are Fairmont motor cars, or speeders, and they traveled from Prince George to Prince Rupert this summer, welcomed in smithers with musical performances, and by spectators, train enthusiasts, and the just plain curious all along the route. What sort of trip have you guys had so far? What's it been like? Somewhere between fantastic and super. The cars belong to collectors who have saved them. Now redundant, motor cars used to carry maintenance men on the rails. Originally, uh, this machine didn't have these seats that you see. Oh, really? No, it had this uh, portion right here that covers the motor. It's called the doghouse, and uh, the workmen when they went to uh, work out on the inspect the track and uh, work on switches and signals and stuff, they would just sit on here. Now they belong to these 35 visitors. The 21 motor cars are mostly from California and New York, and their owners love the Northwest. To me in British Columbia, and I'm not being paid for this, are the best, friendliest people I've ever met in all my travels. And I've driven up here in a motorcycle and vehicles and motor cars and I find the British Columbian people just wonderful. And the feeling is mutual. The Worsfold family got to travel to Prince Rupert with the motor cars, and they're recommending this form of sightseeing. Oh, I thought the scenery was nice, and it was kind of cool traveling in those cars. It's way better than traveling on the highway. It was a great opportunity to go and, and meet with these people, and these are the best bunch of people that you'd ever want to travel with. It was interesting scenery, and they liked everything about being here. And they're just really fascinating people who have been around. It's great. There are some colorful characters in this bunch, like Rich Corbell, who hands out licorice or gives bubble blowing lessons at stops along the way. And don't let this sign fool you. Just like the rest of the group, Todd Hill is a lot of fun. They're so friendly, they invited me to go along with them. <laughs> On the morning of my trip, it looks like rain, but everyone's in good spirits. The first order of business is a safety briefing from CN's John Armstrong. A lot of our traveling was uphill. A uh, few people underestimated their gas consumption, but that's a very minor detail from my viewpoint. Today's section goes from Smithers to Burns Lake. I'm hitching a ride as far as the Houston lunch stop, suited up in a safety vest and CN hat to match the rest of the group. My duffel bag up front so you don't get 